Have faith, live again. When it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say, have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say, have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah! Oh, Noah. <laughs> Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Okay, oh, <laughs> Good morning. You're listening to Half Faith Lab again, and it starts right now. How is that, Daddy? It was good. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of February, February 1st, 2024. I don't know about you, but can you, I, I, I can somewhat feel spring is coming. I, when I get to February, I'm like, let's go. Let's get through this month here. It is an extra day. You know, it's a leap year, but let's get through this month because March, yes, could be a hit or miss, but it's my birthday month in March. So I, you know, my wish is going to be early spring, but that's tomorrow. We'll, we'll, we'll learn more about that on Groundhog Day. Anyway, folks, I want to thank you for listening to our show and joining us here yet again. Let's get started with another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. My name is Angel. If you're just joining us, we did have a lot of new subscribers uh, and people that have joined uh, in the last 24 hours to 48 hours, actually. So welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, I want to talk to you today about working with people colleagues that do not know the meaning of the word teamwork. There's an I in team with people that we work with, right? How often have you encountered people like this throughout your entire career, whether it's, you know, jobs you've had in the past or maybe a present job where you've encountered individuals that put the I in team? Yeah, this is a tough subject, right? A lot of us have dealt with this. I don't understand the logic or the way of thinking when people do not want to uh, work together, uh, communicate with one another, uh, putting less burden on each other, uh, always thinking for themselves uh, and not putting the team first, especially when you have people there that have done things for you um, and have done things um, to help you when you are in need of being helped but when you're asked to reciprocate that that respect that 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 love that sh- you know it's just not there it's oh I'm sorry I've got a thing or I really can't or 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 my favorite is they say oh yeah I'll help you and then when it's their turn to help, they go, oh, you know what? Something came up. Can't do it. It reminds me of back when I was in Rhode Island and I was working um, at uh, Dial America. And they stuck me in a branch where everybody spelled team T-I-A-M, including the manager. And... No matter what I did, no matter how many times I tried, I just couldn't get that I out of team. It took for me to literally lose, almost lose control, um, my anger, my temper. Now, mind you, I was in my early 20s, still learning how to manage, be managed, um, and try to also learn how to uh, grow up and mature all that while dealing with a depression, a breakup and a new environment and surroundings that I was never um, I just never I was never been involved in I can honestly tell you that it was one of the most difficult times of my life those two years were brutal but I learned so much And I learned that patience is truly a virtue. That prayer in patience and patience in prayer truly is needed. I guess what I'm trying to get at is this. 
when you're in that type of environment, when you're in a structure uh, where the majority of people don't want to be a part of that team or show the significance that there's no way they're going to conform and be uh, a part of that team or want anything to do with that team. Sometimes they do things and they don't realize what they're doing. Um, They just feel that that's the best option. That's all they've ever known is how to think for themselves. And they don't realize that they're stepping on other people uh, when they do it. The one thing that you can do is be yourself. Is not allow others to frustrate you. To put yourself in a position to not want to go to work. This has happened to me. It's put me in a position where I thought maybe I should just leave. But then I thought about it and I said, why would I allow others who don't want to be a part of a team to destroy the very foundation that you or myself are trying to build? So I sat back, I prayed, I thought about it, and I just kept pushing for team environment. I just kept doing everything I could to make sure that the team succeeded. Eventually, in Rhode Island, I found that people started to either conform, learn, or they chose a different path in their choice of career. Not by choice, meaning they weren't forced out. They just realized they couldn't do or be a part of what they thought they were already a part of. Uh, But their spelling of team and our spelling of team was way different. So, how do we fix this? How do we overcome people that don't want to work? People that don't want to conform, to be a part of something that can be so much easier for all of us if we just work together as a team we pray about it and that's what we're going to do this morning and we lift our hearts up and our trust and our faith in God and we never change who we are we just push forward we make sure that we do everything we can to spell team T-E-A-M let's pray Heavenly Father, thank you for today's message. We ask you, Lord, now more than ever to be with us, to guide us, to keep us whole. Allow us to not allow others to steal our joy, to do everything we can to move our great attitude, our great environment that we have within ourselves and allow that light to shine and allow others to see that we have good intentions and not bad. We pray for all those that are not willing to understand how to actually be a part of a team. But we also pray that they, whatever it is that they're that they're dealing with, whatever is going on in their lives, whatever is happening on the side, does not um, infiltrate or have a direct reflection on how things are in our environment at work. We ask you this today, Lord, as we lift up our Have Faith, Let It Begin families, We ask you to watch over our friends, our brothers and sisters, our nieces and nephews, our aunts and uncles, our cousins, our grandparents, and our parents. We pray for government officials. We lift up in prayer our uh, military personnel, foreign and domestic. We continue to lift up in prayer our godparents. We pray for new beginnings, new choices. We pray for patience. And we pray for forgiveness. So on behalf of all of us here to Have Faith, Let It Begin, happy February 1st. We'll see what tomorrow brings on Groundhog Day. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never forget, have faith, let it begin. Thank you for listening. 
to have faith for a begin. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impre- <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Thank you for listening to Have Faith for a Begin. We'll be back tomorrow.